guys welcome back to my channel if you are new thank you so much for joining me my name is Leslie and I like to post lifestyle budgeting and motherhood type of content here on the mother plan so for today's video we need to do a paycheck breakdown and I'm already gonna tell y'all I'm so aggravated with this paycheck breakdown and cash stuffing but that's okay we'll get into it in a minute so if you want to know what I'm talking about stay tuned Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is for the paycheck from February 11th. And I need to cover bills all the way up until the 24th. So let's go ahead and write down our wages. So from the first job, we projected $1,250. We actually brought home $1,330. And then for the second job, $1,500 was the projected amount, and we brought home exactly $1,500. <laughs> I will take it. And then other income, we did have a little bit of other income at $663, which was projected. And that total ended up being $3,413 for the projected amount. And then we actually brought home $3,493. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into our expenses. I'm going to just write everything down. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we have a projected amount of $3,023. I'm going to write that down. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over our actual amounts. Y'all know the mortgage is always half that amount. So we're at $1,180. And then the medical insurance is $200. Car insurance is the same. Well, no, it's like a dollar cheaper. So $289. The truck we pay the $460. And then life insurance was $127. The solar panels was exactly a $195. And the electric and water bill was $205 because I already saw that bill before I did the budget. And then the student loans, you guys know we are in deferment, so we're not paying at $366. We are paying $134. You guys, I skipped it. I was going to tell y'all all the drama. I'm going to just say, you guys will see it when we get to the cash stuffing. I am annoyed because I had to dish out a lot of money, and I will tell you why. I was going to tell you in this video, but... It's already aggravating me, so let me just go ahead and get through the paycheck portion, and then we'll get into why I'm so annoyed. <laughs> That's okay. Y'all know it's real life over here, so sometimes I'm all peppy and everything is great. And y'all know sometimes it is not, and I will let you know when it is not. So let's go ahead and add up these numbers. Alright guys, so we got a balance of $2,790. Yay, it's under our projected because of that deferment. So that's $2,790. I'm going to go ahead and subtract that amount from my paycheck. So we got the $2,790 minus the $3,493. Sorry guys, someone was calling, so um, we're left with $703 to go between our cash envelopes and our sinking funds. So I'm going to put that over here, $703 to work with. Let's go ahead and write down all of our cash envelope categories. Okay guys, so y'all know groceries is going to get our usual $200. If you are new, we have a family of four, so I budget $25 per person per week, which ends up being $100 a week. Okay, so childcare, we normally just budget $100. And gas, we are going to do $75. Miscellaneous, miscellaneous is going to get $20 this week. 
spending y'all the budget is a little tight this month so we're just gonna do 15 a piece and then family fun we are going to do $20 All right, we got a total of $445. I'm going to take that $445 away from the $703. And we are left with $258 to use for our sinking funds. guys so I need to make me a new sheet because I am running out of space when I first made this sheet which is my paycheck breakdown it's in my Etsy shop by the way I had less sinking funds so I need to go ahead and do a update on this sheet or just create a whole new one so that way I'll have more lines for all of my categories so I'm going to start with home Home is going to get $15. And then the car maintenance envelope is going to get $25. Pet care, we're going to do $10. My daughter's karate envelope, we will give her $20. Back to school, we're going to do $20. And birthdays and gifts, we're going to do $20 as well. HOA, HOA is only going to get $5 and Amazon is going to get $5 and my emergency prep envelope, we are going to do, let's do 15 and then vacation is going to get 15 as well. So let's go ahead and add that up. All right, guys, that is $150. All right, I'm going to take that $150 away from the $258. We are left with $108. All right, so let's go ahead and move over to our notes. So for our expenses, we said that was going to be $2,790. Then cash envelopes, that ended up being $445. And our sinking funds, that came in at $150. Now, you guys, we got to do our saving challenge. So let's go ahead and pick a number. I know you guys guessed some good numbers on the last video, so let's see what we got. I'm going to go ahead and dump our numbers in our little glass. That's right here. Let's mix it on up, mix it on up. All right, last time we pulled $2. Let's see what we're gonna pull this time. All right, y'all, I got my computer out. We got, we got 10 and 40 from Ebony. Tasha is going to choose 52. She only picked one number this time. Y'all, we gotta do two at a time, I get paid bi-weekly and then let's see we got 17 and 27 from miss pamela all right let's just get to it i'll see who is right gabby said 44 39 and then we got miss deborah said 60 and 90 miss deborah it's only 52 weeks in a year okay we can't pull a 60. <laughs> all right here we go first number Dun, dun, dun. Nine. Okay. Yeah, I keep saying it like up, uh, want, want. When I see a single digit, I'm like, okay, we can do better than that, right? But we do have to pull those numbers. Nine is going to be one of the numbers. And let's do another one. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Dun, dun, dun. 
Next one is 32. Okay, that's not bad. Anybody guess 32? Deborah, you said nine, so I didn't get your 60 because there's no 60 in here, but I did pick your nine. All right, Miss Deborah. And let's see, anybody pick 32? Brown sugar set 45 and 11. Okay, so only Miss Deborah got it right this time. So, Miss Deborah, I was going to shout out your channel, but it doesn't like you make any videos. All right, guys, so y'all think of something fun we can do. Let me know in the comment section what you what you think we can do. If I pull your number, you guys want to shout out? You want me to shout out your channel? Hmm. Oh, wait, Miss Claudia, girl, I see you. You said 32 and 6. Okay, I got your 32. All right, so Miss Claudia, I got 32 from you. And Miss Deborah, I got your 9. All right, y'all, shout out to Miss Claudia and Miss Deborah. Y'all got my numbers correct. Let's go ahead and put those numbers in the comment section for next time. And of course, I will give you guys a shout out. If you do have a channel, definitely let me know in the comment section when you're doing your number so I can shout out your channel and let everybody know what your channel is all about, okay? So let's go ahead and add these numbers together. We got 32 and nine. So we are going to be budgeting $41 for our saving challenge, the 52 week saving challenge. And then y'all know when we do our cash stuffing, I'm gonna pull two numbers for our debt snowball challenge as well. All right, so that's $41 I'm going to put right here. And we're gonna just simply take that from that 108 and we'll see what we have left. But I'm just going to just go ahead and add all these together. Alright guys, so that total ended up being $3,426. Alright, our starting income was $3,493. And we're going to subtract $3,462. And that is, we have one there, nine minus six is three. Zero, zero, I'm talking about zero. Why did I write the zero? Girl, get it together, Leslie. Get it together. Y'all, I still ain't been asleep yet. It is 1 p.m. I worked last night and I still haven't been asleep. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're left with $31, yay. And I'm just going to roll that over. I'm gonna leave it into the checking count. It's not really much, but we will take it. It's a plus and not a negative. So $31. All right, y'all, that is it for this paycheck breakdown. I am pleased to say we brought home just a little bit more than what we were projecting at $3,493. Our monthly expenses came up to $2,790. For our everyday cash envelope for spending, we have $445. For our sinking funds, we have $150, and then for our saving challenge numbers, we picked two of them, and it ended up being a total of $41. So I am going to get some money, you guys, and we are going to do our cash stuffing next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, comment down below with your numbers for the next video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Go ahead and hit that little notification bell so you'll be updated every time I post a new video, which is weekly. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.